Hello. This video is an overview of how to use ALTA, the Department of Defense's electronic medical record, to document an outpatient visit. This video assumes a working knowledge of basic computer skills, as well as clinical processes, protocols, and terminology. If you're unfamiliar with any of these, please consult your clinic chief or a clinical systems trainer for more information. This video was created to give a high-level overview of how a clinic staff can work as a team to document a patient's visit using ALTA. There is no one way to document a patient visit in ALTA, but this short demonstration will show you the fastest and most efficient process using only the ALTA system. Now, let's move on to the encounter. Violet Alexander just walked into your clinic complaining of shortness of breath and does not have a scheduled appointment, so she doesn't show up on your daily appointment list. The first person to deal with Ms. Alexander will be the person assigned to the front desk. The first part of the encounter process will be handled by them. When Ms. Alexander tells you she needs a walk-in appointment, open up the Appointments module if it isn't already. Then click on the New Appointment icon in the Action bar at the top of the screen to open a patient search window. When the patient search window appears, enter Alexander in the Last Name field. As you can see, there are several ways to search for a patient in ALTA, some of which may work better for you depending on the type of patients that your clinic normally sees. But for this video, we will be using the most basic method. Once you have entered your name, click Find. When the list of names appears, select Violet Alexander from the list. And click OK. If the new unscheduled appointment window is not already showing, click on the New Appointment icon on the action bar. When the new unscheduled appointment window appears, first, verify that you have the correct patient, clinic, and provider selected. Then select Acute Appointment as the appointment type. Since this is not a visit related to an injury or accident, simply type Shortness of Breath as the reason for the appointment. And then click OK. When the appointment window appears, she should now be displaying as Checked In because she has now been walked into the clinic. Next, you need to check that her administrative information is up to date and correct. To do this, click on Demographics in the Patient Folder list on the left of the screen. Make sure to verify with Violet that her contact information is all correct, especially her phone numbers. Check to see if she has any third party insurance that could be billed, and then check on her Deers eligibility by clicking on the Deers eligibility button. Once you have finished verifying all of her administrative information, close the demographics module and ask Colonel Alexander to have a seat in the waiting room until she is called by the screener. The screening portion of the encounter is normally done by a medic or nurse that is either assigned as a general screener for all patients coming into the clinic or to a specific provider. Either way, this part of the process is done completely by them to save the provider time and therefore may vary due to the preferences of the clinic or the individual providers. As the screener, I'm going to retrieve Colonel Alexander from the waiting room and take her to the screening area or exam room, and then open up her appointment by clicking on her name to highlight it, and then clicking on the Open Appointment icon in the action bar. Please note that you could also simply double-click on her name to open her appointment, but if your mouse slips and you accidentally open another patient, it not only can cause administrative problems, even if you catch it immediately, but it is also easier to start documenting on the wrong patient, which can become a real nightmare. So for safety's sake, use the icon bar instead of double-clicking. You'll be glad you did. When the current encounter module appears, verify the patient's name and date of birth with them using the information in the patient ID bar. Then click the screening button to open the screening module. Once the screening module opens, the first thing that you should do is verify any allergies that the patient has and document any possible new ones. To do this, click on the nose icon on the far right of the patient ID bar to open the allergy module. When the allergy module appears, you'll notice that any allergies that are listed in red have not been verified yet. After reviewing each allergy with the patient, select it, then hit Verify on the action bar to verify it within the system. This will cause the text to turn black. If it doesn't, then it has not been verified. When you are done verifying her reported allergies, ask her if she has any others. If yes, 
Fill out the sections at the bottom of the window. If not, then you are all done and simply need to click on the box next to Verify This Encounter. And then close the module, which will return you to the screening module. Next, take a moment to document female data by asking if she is pregnant. She tells you she isn't, so enter the date of her last menstrual period. When you are done entering the required screening data, click OK to both save it and exit out of the module. Once you are back in the Current Encounter module, click on the Vitals button to enter current vital signs into the note, and enter vitals in the appropriate fields. Her oxygen saturation is at 92%, which is a little low, so Alta asks that you verify that it was reported correctly. Her peak flow is 300. She doesn't smoke, but she drinks alcohol occasionally. And her current pain level is a 3 on a scale of 1 to 10, and it's located in her chest. Now that you've recorded all of Colonel Alexander's vitals into the note, click OK to both save the data and close the module. Notice that her appointment status has now changed to Waiting. At this point, you can notify the provider that she's ready to be seen. Colonel Alexander is now ready to be seen by the provider. At this point, it's important to mention that this video shows the bare minimum for provider documentation. Your personal preferences and clinic policy will dictate how you handle things but the simplified process that we show you here should satisfy most situations. Prior to meeting with the patient, check the appointment module to verify that she is listed as waiting and therefore ready to be seen. To open the encounter note, highlight her name and click Open Appointment on the action bar. Although it's not required before you begin documenting in the SOAP note, it's a good idea to start by calling up the patient's health history module for a quick overview of their past complaints, labs, rads, and meds. To do this, simply click on Health History in the folders list. As you can see, the Health History module provides a short but complete list of pertinent information on the patient that's easy to scan prior to beginning the diagnostic phase of the encounter, such as a problem list, allergies, meds, recent labs, radiology results, and so on. When you are done reviewing the health history, simply close it out to return to the current encounter. Before you open the note portion of the encounter, you can view the current screening and vitals information. This is also a good time to verify the entries with the patient, as well as question her about her current issue. To open the SO portion of the note, simply click on the SO button within the encounter module. When the SO note module appears, go to the template drop-down list and select a template to assist you in writing your note. In this case, we'll be using the T-Swift Core template, which is the preferred template for documenting. If you don't see it listed, you may need to upload one of its versions. To do this, contact your clinical systems trainer for help. When the T-Swift template appears, enter SOB for shortness of breath in the chief complaint field. Enter a number into the pain level field, along with any other HPI items you may want to document. In this case, Colonel Alexander tells you that she has had shortness of breath for three days. For the purposes of this video, we will not be doing an ROS or a PE, but both can be opened by simply clicking on the appropriate tab near the top of the module. When you are done with the SO portion of the note, click the AP icon on the action bar to open the AP module. Notice that when the AP module opens, it defaults to the Diagnosis tab. This is because all orders must be associated with the diagnosis to be entered, even if it is a preliminary diagnosis. If you had a unique diagnosis, you could do a search for it using the search function, but in this case, let's simply click on the Favorites button and select Upper Respiratory Infection from the list that appears on the right. Then click on the Add to Encounter button below it and the diagnosis should then appear at the top of the screen. Next, let's order a lab by clicking on the Order Lab tab. Choose a lab by entering its name in the search field, clicking on the search button, 
If there are any options associated with it, choose one and click the Submit button. To order an X-ray, first click on the Order RAD tab. As with any of the tabs in the AP section, you can search on any term you need, but since we are going to order a chest X-ray, we will simply do a search for the word chest. Choose the appropriate option. Enter a clinical impression of severe bronchial wheezing, and then click the Submit button. The process from this point forward will vary depending on your personal preferences and the patient's particular issue. But for the purposes of this video, let's say that you are going to have her go get her labs and chest x-ray done so you can read them prior to prescribing her any meds and completing her note. To close the AP and the encounter modules without closing and signing the encounter itself, Simply click on the close buttons on the action bar for each module. When you return to the appointments window, you'll notice that Colonel Alexander's status is now listed as in progress. She will remain this way until you finish and sign off on the note. Once Colonel Alexander has visited both the lab and radiology, and the results are available in Alta, you or your designated representative can review them in the appropriate modules. In this case, it's confirmed that she has a URI and you need to order medications. To reopen Violet Alexander's appointment, make sure that it is her name in the patient ID bar and then click on the Open Appointment button in the action bar. When the Current Encounter module appears, scroll down and click on the AP button. To order her med, click on the Order Med tab. Type the name of the med you want into the search field, click on the search button, choose the specific medication you want to order from the drop down menu, type out the appropriate SIG. You'll notice that Alta automatically shows the expanded SIG as you create it. Fill out the quantity and number of refills, and then submit it in the same way that you submitted your labs and rads. If you want to include a plan or comments, you can do so by clicking on Plan and Comments just below the diagnosis. When the window appears, add your comment, and click the OK box to save it. Since we don't have anything else to order, we will move on to the Disposition module to close out the encounter. We'll do this by clicking on the Disposition button on the action bar. When the disposition module appears, choose Follow Up with PCM and enter one week by using the drop down calculator next to the When field. In the Comments field, we'll enter Go to ER Should Symptoms Worsen. Then click All Items Discussed to make sure that you get the appropriate credit for the encounter. And now you are ready to sign and close the encounter. So click Sign on the action bar. And sign it. When the appointment screen appears, notice that the appointment status has now changed to Complete. This concludes the video overview of how to do a basic encounter using Alta. As we mentioned throughout this video, there is no one way to use Alta but following this general process will help to spread out the documentation duties among your staff and allow patient flow to be that much more efficient.